kind of see like the flows on top of each other coming out at you. Would this seamount have erupted more than once? Oh yeah, definitely. They say, I mean, some of these take anywhere from maybe 10,000 years to a mm -hmm. half Let's stay wide years. on Atalanta for now. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Uh, never mind. Do you want we're, me to do any of the lights? We're reaching the top, so we can do uh, some zooming if you want. Okay. Do you want okay. to zoom over there? Maybe here? Is that that branching core? Sample or zoom? 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 Yeah, absolutely. Wow, look at that. Uh, go ahead there, video. It's Prim Noad. Yeah. It seems so. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Bouncing. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple more up on top too. Yeah. We're oh, there's some stuff underneath. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I see yeah, that. The overhang, overhang right there. Well, we're actually getting into something here. After what? Two hours of us yeah. being in watch. Well, I think it's a little payback from our last watch. <laughs> Don't say our that. Our two it's probably true. Our last watch was <laughs> fruitful with creatures. Creature full of fruit. A creature full of fruit. Well, there's that. We have well, a sponge, a peduncle, crina peduncle. Is that a, a crina of there? The sponges. Yeah, a lot yeah. of sponge debris. Spongy debris. Spongy debris returns. Hmm. You think they fell off the the cliff? Sounds looks like it. Keeping a low delta since you're kind of out there. Yeah, that's great. These are gorgeous lava flows. There's a good rock for the rock roll. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, I'm glad you're here Look to tell us node. that they're gorgeous lava flows. Oh, zoom on that one. Yeah, you betcha. Ugh. Sure, we can try that. Go for it, Dave. Not my best work, but got I got something out of it. Don't think it's Norella, but it looks good. It's good. All right, thank Beautiful. you. That should work. Thank Wide. you. Give a cinema cam a little flyby on the way out. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Nice oh, yeah, let's see start down here too. We can have a gander at that. We have some time. We're kind of going a little sideways up the this cliff, which oh, is that's nice. Fine. Go ahead, zoom, please. Great view in the cinema cam. Yeah, great view yeah. in the cinema cam. Good view yeah, in in your hurt cam too. Oh, he looks like getting ready to eat the. Uh, oh yeah. Ooh. Apex predator. <laughs> great. Right. That's right. great. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thanks. Do they eat the corals? Yep. <coughs> Just starting to approach getting terrain in the red danger circle and now it's out again. Great. Cliff. Yeah. Here's a good symptom of being on a cliff: is the uh, Doppler has zero beams because there's <laughs> nothing beneath yeah. it, which means the nav solution is very wrong. Yeah. Ooh, crinoid. Crinoid, yeah. Crinoid. Can we get a quick zoom Another on this crinoid, please? Crinoid. Yeah. Nice. About okay. 20 centimeters 
Nope. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. That was a little weird, confusing one. Yeah, I know, I'm not there. Because I got no beams. Yeah. I'm, you can see the USBL kept going and the DBL stopped. You can switch this uh, position solution over to USBL if you want. Okay. Do that. Do the C star we just saw? Do they? Do they just like kind of walk around along the rocks? They don't swim, right? C stars? Mm -hmm. No. No, they just walk, right? So it must take them a really long time to climb yeah. the cliff and search for a bit of coral. Searching for food. Did you send position source? Yes, I did. Weird. Yeah, right. Hmm. It feels like that should have worked. I don't think Atalanta is in front of Herc. No. SPL, this is Lounge. Uh, if you want the position her of Herc on NavG to show the USBL, you'll have to set that in the NavS tab. Um, this version of NavG separates the reported position versus the displayed position. Thank you, Tim. So, wh why is that, Tim? So, if you change that vehicle, this one there, to sh from ship to Hercules, then marker, or sorry, one of those two, I don't know which one, trail source or nav S source would be USBL. There we go. Cool, looks good. It's probably just up here. Yeah, yeah nice. Nice. Thanks, Steve. Oh, spike stock. Is that a glassy sponge? Let's find out. Sponge. Of course, right then we got beams back. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> see back. You could do a reset. You have your face before switching back, right? I'm ready, yep. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and zoom there, please, Dave. We'll see what this thing's made of. Barnacles or? <laughs> um, those are isopods. Do, do you think it would be possible to uh, use the use the suction tool yeah, to get this guy? Yeah, please. Yes, we'll do it. Can I bubble on craft, please? Roger. So, so it was that little white with the red. Dots? Yep. That's isopod. an isopod. Mm -hmm. Isopods are extremely Can diverse. Switch the camera over to bucket cam. Do, have we studied them much in the deep ocean? Bucket cam? Yep. Oh, yes. a little bit. Roger. Uh, they are more uh, amphipod specialists, I believe. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's a group down light with, on, please. with 10,000 species. Wow. Roger that. Oh, did it, it just swim it off? Swim off. Yeah. Did it? Yes. Yeah. It, it oh, landed right it. on the bottom of the rock by Herc's yeah, it's it's That cliff. Ooh. Yeah, there's a cliff coming up. Can we have suction turned on, please, to... Uh, oh, let's do a jar rotate first. I'll do that if you turn... Oh, well, I turned the suction on already. Okay, you can turn suction off. Uh, suction is off. Okay. We're gonna go to jar six. Okay. Can I get a zoom please, Dave? As I line this up a bit more. Go ahead, zoom more. He's right there. Okay, suction it's on. It's all lined up. Suction to what? Uh, I don't know, 40, 50, something like that. Roger some. that, suction's at 50. Go on, come full wide, please, Dave. And we'll just wait and see. Watch until he gets up in the little jar. Someone's watching the jar? We're yep. watching. The world is watching. Great. I gotta go. This is sample 48. Chad has their eye on the jar. 
<laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Chat can Nobody. if they're on channel three. Yeah, what's, what's oh, the it's on channel what's three. This is an isopod. I haven't seen it come in I yet, though. Yeah, I S O P O D. I, I saw it go up the tube, but I didn't see it come in the chair. We'll keep it running for a little bit, no problem. It also might have like looped in and got sucked up. So let's uh, zero the suction now. Roger that. Suction at zero. See if it falls. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look at all that stuff. Is there an isopod though? Well, we see more. Hmm. He's in the hose then, because I'm pretty sure. I thought I saw the something. something go up too. Yeah. You should have like a, a tiny camera on the tip of your hose. Pretty funny. I also think there's a piece of coral in sample jar five. Let's try that for a sec. There's something dangling in five. Just hmm. make a note of that science. Oh, oh, oh there he oh, is. Got isopod them. in. Isopod in. Isopod yeah. in. Great. It's, yep. it's upside down. It's swimming. <laughs> oh, look at that go. So there's a piece of coral in sample jar five. Yeah, I guess this wasn't cleaned out properly or something. Okay. All right. Maybe now I can work on getting my camera squared up. Turn the down light off. You can uh, turn the down I'm light I'm gonna up. zero the suction. Uh, no, I'm flushing right now. Oh, flushing. Okay. You can turn down light off though. Roger that. Yeah, that's spicy, sampling over a cliff. All right, what am I doing? This one's off, I can zero this now. The flush is complete, and back to regularly scheduled programming. All right. Delta up to 18. Roger that. So what have we collected so far? An isopod, a sponge, and a rock, right? And a push core. Oh, and a push core. And we're six hours into the dive. Biology. Is it diverse or is it just oh. more biology? But <laughs> it still seems like it's pretty much primno. Compared to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, the the very bottom, the first watch saw a lot of different little. Yeah, they were uh, sea pens. Sea pens. Pen. A lot of sea pens. <laughs> Two anemones. <laughs> yeah. The hermit crab. Yeah. 
I just want to bring it back to a hydrothermal vent bacteria <laughs> fact, if that's okay. Yeah, <laughs> fill the silence. <laughs> So most of them are aerobic. That's the word I was thinking of, aerobic heterotrophs. So that means that they like oxygen, but some can grow anaerobically, so um, with the presence of no oxygen. Bacteria you're talking about? Yep, microorganisms at mm. hydrothermal vents. But there's no oxygen coming out of the vent itself most of the time, where it's right. very low concentrations of oxygen. They use the chemicals coming out of the vent and then the oxygen in the ambient seawater surrounding to drive their chemosynthesis. If there's anybody listening who is also <laughs> interested in vents. <laughs> vents are great. I was gonna say, I feel like everyone likes vents. There's a... Primnoid. Dead sponges. Are we almost at the peak of the seamount? No? Nope. Okay. I see it getting red on the map. Well, that's, then we have a long run up the ridge. Oh. <laughs> Is this a big? considered a big seamount or like oh this is, this is very large yeah i mean it goes from almost 6,000 meters up to 1700 meters so it's on the larger size yeah so how close are we to waypoint two we uh <coughs> 700 meters away ish okay and then are we going to keep going up to, is waypoint five the last one? I think six. Oh, I see, six, yeah, yeah okay. Great, nice. So we're not going like directly up to the top, we're kind of like squiggling a bit. Yeah, we just wanted to, you know, explore a little bit, come up yeah. the side of this nose, and then run the ridge. Squiggling, I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we don't go like down the slope after we... No. Actually, Trevor, tell her about going down slopes. Oh. Well, you know how we like to look at stuff? Yeah. Oh, I guess you wouldn't be able to see anything. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Maybe sometimes it's good. <laughs> Maybe you just go down the slope here and then I'll... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it. Prove myself wrong immediately. That's one big spongy debris. Yes. Nice. Is that a? Oh. Is that a? Is that a squat? Is that a squat? Where do you see it? Oh, it was oh. in the cinema cam on the on this coral right <coughs> dead center. Let's try to zoom on that squat, please. I don't think it's it is a squat, but it's hard it's to something. tell. It's something. It's a furoid. Oh. <laughs> oh, we don't care about it's that. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, though. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, prenoid as well? Yep, that was prenoid. So how is oh, Ophurid? So it's a type of brittle star? Yes, it's a brittle star. Ophuroid. Ophuroid. It's the um, name of the super family. Dead sponge. Sponge Dead down. Sponge. Debris. Devastating. <laughs> Spongy Got debris. It. Is that a different sponge up just above it? Or is it a s another part of the same sponge? Yeah, I think it's probably, yeah, I don't know, it could be a different one. Got it. It's like a different one, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Is 
Look at this little basin we're coming up to with that Talanta. Yeah. Surrounded on three sides. Yeah. yeah. There's no way out but up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in like a, a weird little gully, it looks yeah. like. Feels like lame Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> Extra slow <laughs> walking pace Top Gun. Slower than walking pace yeah. Top Gun. <laughs> but it feels real intense here in the pilot's seat. Yeah. Um, even though we're going slow. You want to explain why it feels intense? A lot of stuff to keep track of. Mm -hmm. Cliff, big and scary. <laughs> and, and Trevor, I don't mean to be bold here, but is Do there it. any chance to get a rock somewhere along <laughs> this? <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't know if you're kidding, but well, like, I'm into no, it. No, no, I'm serious. It's it's a little uh, a little different environment. I'm just wondering if it might be a better, fresher rock. Do you think there's cool. loose rocks? Well, let's get the armor while we're still some. moving. Can I have bubble on craft, please? There Roger are that. some here. How would you, do you describe want the this environment, Rob? Uh, it looks so. like it's a, a wall of uh, pillows and lava tubes. So we're going to get you. the craft out. We can kind of grab at our will, and you point out a rock, and I'll snatch at it. Are we are we down here? Sure, we're down there. It's a great looking rock. To my untrained rock eye. Well, what's nice, I mean, it's a debris below a, a steep slope like this, so. This is rock debris. Rocky debris. Rocky debris. Yes. Rocky, debris. Yeah. rocky debris. Add it to the list. The rocky debris. The family tree. I went to high school with rocky debris. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, and there's a the storied history of the debris family. Yeah. 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 There's a worm tube thing in the cinema camera. Yeah. I'm going to grab this and yeah. then I'm going to move on before stowing Perfect. it. Perfect. I think they're originally from Nova Scotia, if I'm not. <laughs> Rocky debris? Yeah, the debris family. The debris family. Goodness gracious, how much can I slide around? Here we go. I think some settled down in uh, New Orleans. Two snatchy Look guys. at that. Nice. Beautiful. Woo. There he goes. Ah, stick lock off. Go up. Get off oh. my porch, you little rascal. Landslide. <laughs> All right. Great. Oogly ooglies. Now is a great time to turn on down light and winch up. Like Wonderful. Crazy. Winching up. Love that little flyby maneuver we got going on. Yeah. We can drop the waypoint, but it's not a sample yet. Oh, this rock is full of things. Not for long, not with this breeze. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to... Wait for me to winch up? You keep winching up if you want. Thank you. Look at how angular okay, that is. Okay, can you is. zoom in please? Wow. Very angular. Look at that. I got the arm on autopilot right now, so I can fly and still come out of this basin. <laughs> it's in display mode. It is, yeah. Fan of white mode. Yeah, exactly. It's actually a we trick we only recently learned we could do. See, like, I'm hands-free right now. It's just we need spinning. some nice music to this. <laughs> okay, you can probably come wide now. I'd like to put this in starboard side. It looks like Echo or Foxtrot. Is that all right? Yep. Dealer's okay. choice. Dealer's choice. Well... I'll put it in one of them and pretend like that was the one I was going for. <laughs> uh, grip is locked. Okay, cool. And I don't think there's anything floaty over there. It's just that one rock already. Yep. Okay, you can open that box halfway, please. Let's Say go what? for echo. A little more? Keep going. Yeah, good there. Just until it's, yeah. That's okay, echo. sample taken. That's echo. Noise. Roger that. Good job. Thank you. Excellent cliff collecting. 
That was excellent, really good. Spicy. Mm. That's the, That's didn't we collect amazing. something else on the cliff? Second cliff collection? All right. Thank you Got very the box much. Closed and let's keep coming up. Impressive. Moronke, the chat went wild for your vent, um, your vent facts. They love Oh vents. my goodness, that's yeah. amazing. Glad you yep. love vents just as much as I do. Yeah, what number was that? That was number 49. Okay. Look at that toothpaste too. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Yeah, I think next time maybe the winch on the left side. Yeah. We can do that as soon as you're finished winching. What's this oh, white thing? Oh. I am not anywhere near finished not winching. Any, I know. Look at all this the cool winchers' stuff, work though. is never done. <laughs> 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 oh dear! Look at this sponge. Brand new sponge. sponge. A new sponge. Let's have a zoom on that, please. And is that a pink coral too? Pink coral. Yep. Oh Let's yeah. Let's get them both in frame. Ooh. Ooh. New stuff. Stuff. Finally. Anna Crisogorgia. Okay, come wide, please. That means you're going to be squat lobsters soon. <laughs> I've got a nice one over oh, there. Sponge behind us. Another front porch view, please. Another Crisogorgia up there, too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How do we feel about these wind traps? They're great. Yay! Yeah, maybe we should. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. Bye. Uh, I wouldn't do a reset yet, but we could okay. switch the solution. I okay. don't think it'll get it'll get better to. Oh, we're gonna top out actually pretty soon. Let's do a reset when we get to the top. Okay. Do you know what I'm looking for over there? How I know I'm we're about to top out? No. So left sonar is Atalanta, which is obviously higher than Herc, which means it can see farther ahead. And the thinness of the sonar return means the steepness of the cliff. Right now it's seeing a lot, which means it's seeing here along the ground, here, 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 here. But if there's a vertical cliff, it can only see, for example, 25 meters. It can't see farther than that. Oh. So the fact that there's a lot of blue there means it's not a cliff. Oh, I see. I still see a cliff in, uh, in yeah. the Herc one, but that means I'm not up above the cliff, but Atalanta is. So we'll be up there in uh, 10 to 15 meters. We'll be on top. Oh, nice. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, nice lava tubes again. It's a really nice outcrop. And yeah, when we get on top, we're going to have more beams because we're not off the edge of nothing. Yeah, and yeah. then we can do a reset. Okay. Oh, there's a spirally coral. Can we check coral? here? We can absolutely Ooh. look at this one. Big These are my spiral. favorites. Beautiful. Eridogorgia. Yes. Okay. It's beautiful. Dave, do whatever you think is best. Beautiful cinema cam. Mm hmm. Wow. Wow, that's gorgeous stuff. I like these so much. Now that's the glamour shot. What's the name of this? Irida Gorgia. It's also called the firework coral. Mm. Look at that. That's a great cinema cam shot. Yeah, right down the middle. Yeah. That's my favorite with this. kind of see it on Atalanta. Oh, I am way too far away. What's he doing? Oh, look at that. He's driving this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Extreme close up. That's wow. really cool. <laughs> Making wow. Dave work for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a focus challenge, I'll tell you. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Thank you so much. That All was right. a very nice shot. <laughs> and no, this is um, a hydroid. Oh, it's I a think. hydroid? Yeah. Let's zoom in on it. Let's but see let's, what it is. Yeah. We have enough time. And then I got to skedaddle. Oh, no, it's black a black coral. coral. Yay. Pathy, pathy. Path, pathy. Okay, full wide, please. I got to go. Great. Thanks. <coughs> So how many types of uh, corals do we have? 
A lot. <laughs> we've seen Iridogorgia. We've seen Victor Gorgia. We've seen Peri Gorgia. No, today, no, not today, today we but have seen other days. Bamboo corals. Black and coral. Two species of, or maybe more of uh, brimnoid. Gold coil coral. Uh, stone. Yeah. Some primnoids here. So are you asking about the types that we've seen today or just no, the like types no, that are just in general. in general? A lot. Oh. The answer is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the black cardinal. Oh, what's Ooh, that? Yeah. That's a crinoid. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can see it Let's now. Let's have a zoom on the crinoid. I've just reached That's the end gorgeous. of my leash now. It is. I love the multiple colors. The ombre. Wood color. ombre. ombre. <laughs> They're <yeah>. ombre. <laughs> Word of the day. This one just went to the salon. <laughs> we have another fashion model. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's interesting how they put yourself in them. Mm -hmm. All right, come Apex. on. The black Thank coral. You. The black mm -hmm. coral. So was that eating the coral or was it just hanging out there? No, they just hung in there like taking the advantage of the current. Okay. Can I get a reset now, please? Okay. It was waving around. Was that because of um, Hercules? Yeah, that was me. Okay. Whenever you've got a spot and you're happy, I'm okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're old friends. Just say hi. <laughs> so, I'm reading in the chat that we have to collect some of these bathypatties. I think but there are also we. Okay, I'm in out of autos. Go for it. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, Paula, just say the word. We can sample away to your heart's content. So you use the auto X Y to hold the position. Just so I don't have to do it. But yes, it holds me, it holds position. So when we, I, I'm flying in, I'll just stop. Wait, you get a couple hits, then I'll turn it off. Uh, I see. Yeah. What oh. do the red crosses mean on the nav? The red crosses? Which one? Yeah. Yeah, right there. Yeah, so this is just, um, we trying to f take a fix from the USBL to reset the DBL. So the USBL is um, ultra short baseline. That's what we are using to track the ROV. So it has um, the, the on on Nautilus itself. We have a transceiver, and on the vehicle we have um, we we have a transponder. So I mean those they communicate acoustically. So but you know once we get down to like you know to this kind of depth, like it does not really work where well. it jumps around. So we have a DVL on the vehicle to that's um, Doppler velocity log, and that's kind of we use that to measure the the speed of the vehicle. So with that, like we can use that to position the vehicle. So we kind of use the two together, but you know one is good at some point and one is not good at some point. So we kind of you know ideally we can fuse them together like that is um, inertial na navigation um, system like it's a kind of more robust solution but like the way we are using them it's kind of independent so but yeah i, I think i've, I've said <laughs> give him more that more than what he even asked but hopefully that makes you understand what we like the way we are tracking the the vehicles down there that was great that's great awesome mm -hmm. yeah so the red x is where the reset happened at essentially yes. yeah exactly okay it's just a cursor you can drop oh Boink. So I was over there watching the USBL hits, figures out where the center is, drops the target, and says, we're there. Awesome. Another Eridogorgia with, yeah, a another... crinoid. with a crinoid, yeah. We might as well zoom on this. We're not doing anything else. Go for it. Oh, yeah. Uh, and look, uh, this, this black coral. Black Ooh, coral. sampling? The, the, yeah. They, okay, they kind of come time. wide, please. I was come just wide. thinking that, yeah. Oh, bonk imminent. Oh, saved it. Ooh. 
Do you want the downlight? Sure. Roger that. So how how soft is this coral going to be? Can it bend through the uh, <laughs> uh, suction hose? Or is it going to be super rigid like a stick? Black corals on aren't Bubble soft corals. Roger. Sorry, Bubble on Craft is what I mean. Oh, Sorry. There you go. Black corals are not soft corals? No, they're hexacorals, so I wouldn't go for the slurp on this one. Sounds good. I will do the front box. Can we have a zoom, please, Dave? i to find it here. Do we need to watch out for that sponge when we pull the tool tray out? Yeah. Okay, full wide, please. And this is... Data was the ID for this? This is a black coral. Yeah, yeah And it's I mean number 50. Number 50, thank you. Can we go super duper extra wide, zero please? Five zero. Thank you. Black. Okay, yeah, go for it. Looks like the sponge is good. Can I go in Lambda for this? Yes, you can. Okay. Wonderful. You can go out a little more. Looks like the sponge is happy there. Happy little sponge. Found a new home. Oh. Where are you going? <laughs> Come on. Just go down. Okay, why are you so floaty? Stay. <laughs> okay, close that, please. Roger. Wonderful. Good stuff. Was that because I stuffed it in the box? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Do you want me to turn down light off? Sure, that would be wonderful. And you can do the uh, bubble on porch. Roger that. All Oof. right. Big sponge? Yeah. Big dead sponge. Is it dead? We got all sorts of good white sponges coming up, though. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we got uh, some more delta up, please. Another Chris and Gorgia. Yeah, I saw a floaty uh, tether, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to stop here, unfortunately. I'd love, love to. Nothing more like than a Rita Gorgia, but we got to oh, keep going for now. We have things picking up here. This is nice. <laughs> more life. Afraid, different sponges. Are those like Grenoids. yellowish ones dead? Oh. Glass sponges. Are those. What are those? Oh, look at that. Can Ooh. you tilt the camera oh, down, cool please, on Atlanta? Just want to get yeah, a that's tether cool. here. Roger. That's that basket Wait, one or something like that. It has down, a hairy. Down, down. Yeah, down. Several of them. Roger that. Just want to see look the tether. I'm going to get the bearing a little too. Yeah, the. Okay. That's a nice shot, Cinema Cab, too. Mm -hmm. It's like three different types of sponges Keep going down. there. Keep going down. Yeah, okay, uh, a bit more. Just want to make sure there's no twists or turns from that bonk. We got 0.4 wraps in the tether and 0.1 okay, wrap in the 6.8. Yeah, I'm looking for a, a, like a... Not? I'm looking for this. Ooh, okay, roger. <coughs> okay. Uh, wonderful. We can resume normal ops now. Didn't Except for the fact I'm way down slope of Atalanta. Oh, goodness gracious. Look away for a second. And, and totally the wrong spot. Whoopsies. So I think what happened there is when we were sampling, Atlanta came over the top. We didn't have quite enough delta. Roger that. I should have been watching that too. Speaking of not enough delta. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <coughs> Ooh, what's this that's shiny white thing over here? That's more sponges coming up. Yeah. Let's check, check, check. 
ch to check it out. Yeah, it looks like mostly sheet flows here now. Get near the top. <clears throat> Can we zoom here? Oh, there's a beautiful sponge right on the top of the screen. Oh. You don't want to oh, see yeah. that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, let's see the sponge. Yeah, all right. Look yeah, at like all the... Uh, fibrous those. connections. Yeah. Yeah, and spicules, the braid next right? to it. I love their spicules. I can't remember what they're called, but they have a... Okay, zoom in as you see fit, Dave. It's very cool. Oh, yeah. Now that's a professional. That's a that professional. Sponge is definitely a professional. We'll freaking all sponge. Yeah. <laughs> Great shots. Makes them all look Great. like amateurs. Cool. Thank you. <coughs> Wow, lots of sponges here. Yeah. Different different types of sponges. Yeah, let's take a look at the spinal cord. The parade. Parade sponge. Parade sponge. Can we have a zoom there, please? Look at the uh, different color, the ombre <laughs> at the top. <laughs> See that? It's more clear. I guess that can be an ombre. I guess, yeah, I guess it's an ombre to translucency. Yeah. Oh, whoopsies. Bouncy. All right, thank you. Coming wide. There's a black coral back there, too. So one of the scientists, Asher, um, wants to study some worms living on black corals, bathybodies. <laughs> So we will zoom some of them, if possible. Yep. Can I get a zoom out on the nav, please? Okay. Maybe one more. Oh, I lied. One more. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Please. Thank you. Just like less gray, grittiness. I can see what's going on. Thank you. No uh, I'm a bouncy, but you can zoom in there, Dave. I'll do my best. Cinema cam looks great. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yes, what's that in it? Like a moon, like in the cinema cam. Which one? The wiggly white one? Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? What's that? Must be a sponge. Chat said ombre was not the right word for that sponge, more like gradient. I don't know the difference. Um, that's a good question. Meh. Um, I don't think there's like a huge difference. You know what time it is? Gauge is check. it gauge check time? Top of the hour. 23.03, time for a gauge check. Top of the hour to you. Look at that. What was I doing? What did I do there? <laughs> Following 
<laughs> Only north south movements, east west. Sponge Garden, I think I can make it over there a little bit. Should probably try anyway. Yeah, it looks nice. For our notes for the gauge check, I wrote Spongy Bottom. Spongy <laughs> Bottom, nice. Cool to see the sponge is like glowing in Adelina mm -hmm. camera. Yeah, that's a beautiful one. Yeah. It's amazing how much of an advantage Adelanta gives because like this little sponge garden is not on the track line I was taking. So I wouldn't have gone over here if we had an Adelanta view. Like we wouldn't have seen these sponges. It is possible to check on this. Yes, no please. problem. Zoom in please. And that shoes in our truck. <laughs> it has some things yeah. on it. I'll try and I'll spin around a little bit, see what's on there. Oh, it's following me. <laughs> you can't tell if they're barnacles or what. It has some sort of associates. Yeah. Thank you. All right, thanks. What is this? Is that a black curl? Yeah. Or? A large one? Pathy pathies? I guess so. There are several species around. So how do you differentiate the corals? Is it based on colors or what? It's color, it's structure, um, structure of the skeleton itself and also structure of the polyps and the fleshy bits that overlay the skeleton. Got a Let's nice do a zoom on this one, please. Star on the Can I bubble on porch if you're done with it? Roger. Merci beaucoup. Um, I'm leaving. Bye bye. Um, that's a brazingid. A brazingid? Yeah. Are those the um, plankton eating ones? Oh, yeah, what's this thing? Ooh. Whoa, coming in hot. Sorry about that. Cool. Any squats on these? I think it's. Oh, what's the white? We can wow. zoom in there, please. Oh, furoid. <laughs> yeah, and a little tiny sponge. Okay, all good. Good Keep going. Thank Look at all you. the sponges up in Atlanta later on here. Pretty neat. Do you mind taking a look at these uh, Atlanta comps for a second? Yeah, they're fifty percent, I'd say. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure. Thank you. You're welcome. And now I will do my job. <laughs> <laughs> Is the Atalanta equivalent of sampling where like you're doing 47 things at once and the rest of the time it's like super chill and all of a sudden 47 things at once. Can the Niskins test for sponges too or is it just eDNA for... Yeah, they... They could uh, test for any an animal, but it depends on how to analyze the um, eDNA mm -hmm. in the water. So you use some kind of markers that look for a particular animal. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, you can design markers for, for instance, looking 
for detecting DNA for of sponges or uh, all the corals. For instance, Steve have, has particular um, barcodes to detect um, octocorals for his project, but eh, you can detect anything you want. Looks like a sponge burial ground here. Oh no, sponge burial ground. In oh this yeah, gorge. in the sand, the canyon. Yep. I can't get enough of the canyons in Cinema Cam. I know, that's no, so cool. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, obviously a lot of that's due to the location of it, but boy, is it cool. It's a great location. Everybody at home, Cinema Cam is on channel three. Location, location, location. There's a bit more current up here, meaning there is some current up here. <laughs> there was Gauge none. check complete. Thank you. There was almost none down at the rest of this dive. That was a bit. Not a lot, but. Yeah, and it seems like more to the right, there's more things living, so maybe that's where the current is taking everything. So the pilot-based currentometer is uh, mm -hmm. functioning? Yep. Calibrated. Calibrated. There you go. <laughs> Can you drive the Herc very well through the cinema cam, or...? Mm, no, not really. It's not enough perspective. Mm. I have no idea how close I am to hitting anything or far off bottom. What camera do you mainly use? What are you looking for? To check. No, I thought he was. Oh, I thought he was calling you. Oh yeah, weird. Okay. Uh, what was the question? Uh, what camera? The Herxus. That's the main one you look at. Yeah. Auxiliary cams would be uh, bubble camera, which I'm looking down straight down to the from the brow down to the porch, mm -hmm. and of course Atalanta view. It's hard to use just one camera for any of this stuff. It's like yeah. you know, closing one eye and try to walk around the ship while it's moving and <laughs> fish. You're not familiar with the and fish terrain. <laughs> and fish. Ooh, where'd you go? I don't think we're gonna be able to zoom on him. We could try, but it might be bouncy. Do you need it, science? No. I can line it up in the cinema cam for you. Giant Ooh. sponge in the cinema cam. Oh, way over there. Let's go check that out. <laughs> this is good because we're doing recording on cinema cam right now, too. We are, you say? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Tim asked for it for a couple of minutes. Can I get some delta down, please? Delta down, Roger. Yeah. I think there was a shrimp. Look at that big sponge. Wow. Big old, oh, bonk. Big old sponge. Delta hovering around 15. Yeah, you can go lower. Lower it is. We want like, you know, we got 11 to 13 or so when we're stretched out. 18 to 20 when I'm underneath. Roger that. Wow, well, it looks like there's a little punching this spo sponge punching. Glove. Yeah. Does this sponge have a common name? <laughs> <laughs> Does it need one? Yeah, what is this sponge? All right, I'm way, way off track. I gotta go. <laughs> I'm 
completely the wrong direction. But it was very neat. So. Yeah, it was. Darn, they should have put the waypoint closer to that area because there was a lot over there. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> but you wouldn't know without, you know, seeing yeah, it like this. Yeah, seeing it, yeah. yeah. This is why we have a 30 meter tether. We can wander around and look at stuff, not just on the track line, but have a little bit but of room to. 30 breathe. minutes, 30 meters away from the track line. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we'll get to waypoint two like to the end of our shift. Well, let's look at this little thing. Little sponge, big stock. More stock, like on this area, there's more like stocky things. Yeah. Things with stocks. And on the other area, there was more of those thick footed sponges. Come down on Delta. Delta down? Yeah. Roger. Ooh. Yeah, when I'm out in front of you, you want to be like 12 ish. So we should keep tracking forward? Sure, I think so. How far away from waypoint two are we? We are about four, five, zero meters away. Thank you. You're welcome. Not the most technically complicated shift. <laughs> <coughs> There's a tall spongy thing coming up. Yeah. Is that a, a dead sponge on the Right corner? Yeah, the ground. Yes. I think so, yeah. This might be a dead sponge, dead center. Mm-hmm. Dead. Sponge center. graveyard. <laughs> I just looked at the little loopy you made with the USBL. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> totally. Speaking of going the wrong way. Possible to check here so soon yes. for our scientists. We're looking for worms. I'm just gonna land for this one, mm -hmm. Dave. Looking for worms on it. There's a couple, right? That yep. one's black coral too. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and zoom. Wormless. All right, thank you, Dave. Thank you. It's 
So are our waypoints set in stone? Yeah, or do well, they ever kind of change? It, 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 they are on here. Yeah. <laughs> they're set in basalt. Oh. <laughs> no, they're, they're general suggestions. Mm -hmm. sheet blows here. Um, Sediment free. Where can I... Is that a, is that a yeah, squat? Straight ahead answer? there should be Ooh, a squat or something. A it? squat on a stock. Where is it? Oh, I see it. Here. We're going to do a zoom on that thing, aren't we? Uh, go ahead, Dave. You can zoom on oh, the squat. Oh, it's moving its arm. There it is. It's on a... Wisteria? No, not Wisteria. Yep. Walteria. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Oh. This is, uh, again, Munidopsis guchuani, a species described from China Sea, widely distributed. In so the Pacific boring. Pacific Ocean. No, very interesting. <laughs> very nice species. Very cool. Thank you. All right, thanks. We're getting some more things out this way. A little fish. Is that a fish? Maybe there's no sediment here at all. This is incredible. More black corals for. We can have a. For looking. For worm inspection. Worms. <laughs> Although. Okay, go ahead for the worm inspection, Dave. Nothing. Although we need pathopathies. Oh, that's not pathopathies, that's the uh, branched one, ah, right? Ah, right. Okay, come wide, please. That ain't no pathopathies. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. one next to it, though. Oh, goodness. Here we go, yeah. There's a bunch of there's black coral here. a bunch of them in yeah. there. Oh, that's a sponge, isn't it? Or what is that? <laughs> This is a small thing? No, this thing. All right, I'm going to move. Thank you. How do you know if it's a branching coral if it just hasn't branched yet? Um, I don't know. <laughs> 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 That's a, that's an odd one. <laughs> do you do you know what the worms we're looking for look like? Because someone in the chat said the worms they're looking for you aren't really going to see. They direct you're going to see they directly they live along the central stalk of the black coral and actually cause the coral to grow around them. Um, Do you know anything about the... They well, I guess they would be polynoids, but uh, let's wait for our scientists to, to answer this. Uh, clippy thing coming up? On the left is that, there? Is that clippy thing? Yeah, on the left. Uh, yeah, but we're headed straight forward. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we're not. Slope. No, we are, we are aim, yeah, maybe. Okay. So I guess your heading is not quite the same as your bearing, so it could be a little bit of a steeper slope. Just trying to keep an eye out. Totally, yeah, absolutely. We're in another little basin. Yeah. But it's not really the same. That's better. I actually see something there now. Cool color on this rock. Ooh, what's the long stick? 
Whoa. Whoa, that is that a is long, long stick. Wow. Is it a is bamboo? It, is it fallen? It looks pretty thick on the cinema cam. Or is it anthropogenic? That would be wild. Well, the ones we saw yesterday were bamboos, but this does not look like a coral. Let's have is a zoom a on this, please, Dave. What is that thing? Oh. Sponge? Whoa. It's a sponge. Whoa, let's try and see this base here. What was that little red thing on the rock, too? Oh, that's the base there. Oh, look at that. Weird. Wow. Really oh. weird. A little tiny star or something? Oh. I don't know what that tiny. is. <laughs> How long do, do we estimate this thing to be? Really? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Now there's a what wow. looks like okay. another one growing on the rock that's right yeah. above us. Do you think it broke off that? It looks like it, doesn't it? Look that's the stump of the tree. Here a beautiful spot with with corals. Yeah. Yes. What are oh, you? Oh wow! Oh, oh well for well bone. Is that no, well bone, bone or no, is that not. a spongy no, debris? That's a sponge debris. Sponge bone. Okay. Sponge <laughs> 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 this is a cute little garden on this rock. Yeah. That's wild. That's the longest, straightest sponge I've ever seen. Well, it, it has cool. fallen. Thank you. The origin story of spongy debris. Weird. Yeah, a lot of the old dead polyamagon there. The bases with the spindles. The the chat was saying um, uh, Calabacus missing its head. For that long sponge. Calafacus? Yeah, C A L O P H A C U S. Thank you. That's what they're saying it looks like. Missing its head. A bunch of sponge head sponge head hunters. <laughs> Previously dove here. That I mean was harder to say than I thought it would be. Sponge There's so much dead spongy debris. It's sponge mm -hmm. hunge. Let's zoom on this black coral. Worms. We need to install a worm detector on the on Hercules. Nice close up of some rocks with the cinema cam. Okay, come wide, please. Thank you. Shrimp. Yeah, I caught it. <laughs> What's the tally up to now? 31 for the whole dive. All right.
All the spongy debris is kind of sad. We also got a black coral and another yeah, little red thing. A, we can have a zoom on the black coral. Go ahead. Yeah. Is that a mushroom coral down to the right too? I saw an antomastus. Let's see, do we see any worms here? Well, they say it grows around the stem or the, the stem grows around it. All right, well. So then we, would we even know? Would, we wouldn't even see them. Let's check down here. Can you come half wide, please? There was a little red squishy down here. Mushroom coral, maybe? Little red squishy. Yeah, yeah. Zoom one. in, please. Oh, tiny mushroom coral. Is that what it is? Yep. And Tomastus or Heteropolyx, I cannot distinguish. Yeah. I guess that's as low as I get. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Come ahead. Now those are soft corals, correct? Bonk. Yes, mushroom corals are soft as opposed as in squishy as opposed to what's the other one stony corals well, there are scl scleractinians that are hard corals i don't know much about them in the deep sea i just know the tropical reef ones um and then their black corals are hexacorals so they're not soft either hmm does hexacoral mean that there's six tentacles You'd yes. have to ask a, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was say, you'd have to ask the coral biologist. Uh, it's like six or multiple of uh, six. So it could be like 12. Septums in the polyps. Mm -hmm. And of the corals, they have eight. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It's like one of the polyopagon sponges here with the connections. What's behind this thing? Uh, Can we have a zoom in there, please? Yeah. Or It has a friend. It has a friend. It does have a friend, yeah. A friend there. What is the friend? What's squatty? What's squatty? Squatty. squat? Do you think this time can, can you be a sample? Uh, yeah, well, let's come wide, please. Let's just see if I can set up for it. I might not. Uh, maybe. It's going to be hard with that sponge right there. Uh, just okay. bump onto it. Yeah, punch the sponge out of the way. <laughs> yeah, if you really want it, we can do it, but it'll be tough. Well, we will see more. Okay. Yeah, it's hard around these ancient creatures. It's like, <laughs> just sitting there their whole life, and here I come and smashing everything up. <laughs> I feel really bad. These things live for what, thousands of years? Oh, check here, please. The crinoid? No, uh, that is there's sponge. Ooh. Oh, there's, there's, are there squats? Oh, there's a squat yeah. too. Is there two oh, squats? Or is no, the other one's a brittle. Are we is slurping? Uh, no, this is the uh, common species. The common. same squat we yeah, saw before. Just to have a look. Boring. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank this you. This is an interesting dead sponge because there's a bunch of different things on it. Yeah. What was that species of squat lobster that we just... So these are um, 
Munidopsis gochuani mm -hmm. um, was described from uh, uh, from the Western Pacific, mm -hmm. and can I get some? Some specimens please? were collected also from Hawaii. Thank you, thank you. Seen in all other areas across the Pacific. With all these dead sponges, do you think it used to be like a booming sponge garden and then Ooh, what's this? like currents changed or something and the sponges didn't have as much to eat? Go ahead here, Dave. No? Got an urchin? Yeah. Sea urchin? Yeah, I think just a natural cycle. Natural cycle? I mean, these you know, right, sponge you. carcasses last forever. Do they? In a long time. Okay. So these could be like really, really old carcasses. Yeah. Does anything eat sponges? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think there are, there are um, uh, multiple, multiple animals eating sponges. Uh, I don't know in the deep sea, but I am in shallow waters. There are multiple fishes. And some invertebrates too. I think that's a little tucked away sponge. Yeah. Mm hmm. Primnoid. Primnoid. Can we check again here for yes, definitely. associations? Go ahead, zoom, please. I see yeah, one. Yeah. You want to slurp it? If you can. Come wide, please. It. Oh, Full it's super moving. wide. He blends in or it blends in pretty well. Yeah. It turned and faced Oop. us. Is it going too much? All right, bubble on craft, please. Roger. And then down light. Roger that. I would go for seven or four on the jars. Yeah, you can switch to jar cam, please. Roger. Let's go, uh, I think it's forward to go to seven. Forward, cool. forward. Yeah, there's seven. Are we locked in correctly with that? Uh, maybe a bit more. Yeah, so then I guess we are. Whoop, never mind, wait. <laughs> there we go, seven. Okay, can I get a zoom, please? How much suck? Uh, good there. A uh, little, little out, Dave. Good there, yeah, perfect. Uh, I don't know, 50%? Try that. Roger, suck at 50. Ooh. Come on, little guy. on. Come on. Ooh. You know you want to come. Maybe, oh yeah, 50 is great. There's legs. Uh, come on, little buddy. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, come wide, please. Um, and come up on Delta. Roger. Squat Lobster's Wild Ride. Oh, and we got a little piece of coral with it. Wonderful. Wonderful. It hasn't Thank come so in much. yet, though. Yeah, we'll keep it on suction, no yep. problem. But there, oh, there it is. is. Okay, you can turn off suction and rotate it to flush. <laughs> the isopod's still swimming around. That's funny. We got a victory dance Roger. back here. Let's, mm -hmm. uh, we can flush it now, and you can put bubble on porch. Bubble on porch. Uh, <coughs> Delta's hanging around 20. Delta? Yeah, that's good. 51, yeah. right? Yes, this is 51. Thank All you. right. Uh, 
I got down light. And let's flush this thing out. Yay, lobster! Squat, Squat lobster. <laughs> Squat lobster. So why are we interested well in this sort of uh, lobster? All right. So um, I'm, I'm studying um, a systematic of this group. So that means that I study the phylogeny, also I describe new species. Mm -hmm. And I would like to study the uh, relationships between uh, guests and hosts, see how a specificity we find in these relationships, if we find the same species in the same species of the host, and how often, and the abundance, and all these kind of things. Oh, that's cool, thank you. Yeah. There's a little guy on the sponge too, but it might mm -hmm. be a shrimp, or is that a squat lobster? <coughs> That is. It, you can see it better on the cinema cam. Yeah. You can see its little arm come right up. Would you yeah. mind taking? Yeah, it's on the back side. Whoop. Are you taking still cams? Who? Uh, Paula, or anybody who has control over cinema? That, because I'm still logging the sample. Uh, I'm just playing catch up. <laughs> oh, I see. How is that spell? <laughs> um, it always feels fast right after the sample. O P T Y C H U S. Perfect. And that's the species, not the genus? Or? It's <laughs> the species. <laughs> All right, please don't okay. come up on Delta, you're good there. Okay. Remember, when we're stretched yeah, out, we want to be 12 to, 12 to 14 kind of thing. Thank you. Um, can I have a uh, reset, please? Okay, sure. Good to go? Yeah. Thank you. Trevor, did you ask what eats sponges? Yeah. Starfish eat sponges. Mm, tasty. Do we sponges. have time or to We can look, zoom? yep. That's a bathy bathy. <laughs> Alright, can we zoom on this thingy? What do you think? Wormless. I don't know what they look like. Yeah, didn't the scientist say you would have to zoom in like really far to see it? Um, well, do we have more zoom, Dave? Nope. There's, that's There's something there. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna I move on. Thank you. We're almost to the end of our watch. Fifteen minutes. What was your 
favorite thing. We didn't see much this one. Sponge garden. Sponge garden was probably it, and the big shrimps. We got pretty good near the top. Yeah. For biology. Geology was great almost everywhere except for the sediments. <laughs> What's this biology? Can we zoom in on this yellow biology? Yeah. I don't think we've this seen one? this one yet. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Ah, this is um, another black coral. Is it really? Is it? Yes. Wow. Uh, maybe it's Tauropatus. I don't remember the name, but I was... Um, maybe the, or scientists. All right, thank you, Dave. I'm gonna move along. Could be Stauropathis. Is every black coral a something pathy? <laughs> <laughs> Lot of old hold fast and mm -hmm. sponge stalks and another red thing. Sponge. Is that another poly, polyopagon? Polyopagon? Yeah. It sounds like a shape. That's yeah. a very angular rock. Should oh, that's we a really nice angular here? rock. We can check there, absolutely. Too bad it's huge. That's a classic pillow there. You see some radiating fractures. Can yeah. we have a zoom there, please? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, bouncy. Bouncy zoom. No worries. Did he say classic pillow rays? Uh, radiating fractures. Oh, okay. Pillow basalt. Oh. Yeah, it's the best I got for you. Thank All right, you. come on, thanks. Chat said yes, every black coral is something pathy. <laughs> <laughs> Is the chat ready for more hydrothermal vent facts? Yes, please. Cool. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Did you know that hydrothermal vents have a life cycle just like us? Do you know that they start out spewing that characteristic black or white smoke? Um, and then over time, their venting stops and slows. And then they're slowly eroded away by the ambient seawater. So they turn into these mounds. Mm. Hmm. Sad. How old? Is their lifespan? How long? It actually, it depends. It fluctuates a lot because when I was in the North Pacific in June, we went to the Magic Mountain Vent Field and the last time it was visited was in 2002. That was the second time anybody had ever been there. And within 20 years, we had vents that completely changed. There were super active areas that were completely inactive. And then we had places that were supposed to be extinct that were fully active again. So. It, uh, it fluctuates quite a lot. We can zoom in on this thingy thingy. Uh -huh. 10 out of 10 vent facts. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you Very for uh, bringing the silence once yeah, again. That's, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> that was a good one fact. Yeah. 
Any worm activity? Worm activity. Hi, right, come on, please. Trying to think of a worm yeah. pun that means no, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> on, on OET's last ROV cruise, which was with Ocean Networks Canada off the uh, Pacific coast of British Columbia, Canada, we were diving uh, with yeah, Ocean Networks Canada's spot at uh, Main Endeavor Field, among other places, which has Ooh. hot vents. And uh, what's this little moving thing? Fish. Oh, it is, yeah. <laughs> um, backward swimming fish. Yeah, the vents there are changing every single time we go back. Um, they have an instrument called a BARS. It's a thing that you stick into a vent and it samples the fluid. Mm -hmm. uh, all sorts of different things about the fluid. And it stays in there after we leave. It's connected to the cable observatory and takes sem uh, measurements and samples or whatever throughout the year and uh, between last year and the year before there was a landslide severed the cable totally ruined everything and it just happened to the landslide wrecked everything and uh, in the same time another bars or another thing in the same area there was so much venting that the rock grew around the instrument and you oh. couldn't get it out uh -huh. so, like we got some parts of it out and we're like this rock is less than a year old <laughs> it's really cool to see that stuff wait so you were on that the last i guess it wasn't the last one but the one before yeah this any one. One, five one yeah yeah i watched some of it. it was cool to see you guys put the bars in yeah and you had to like wait so it could like heat up exactly yeah and you can't pull it out of the hot fluid otherwise it shatters the ceramic tip of the bars yeah benthic and resistivity sensor that's a very cool colony eh? of black corals. All sorts of stuff there. Chat said, what is the water temperature in that area? I don't know if they meant the area where the vents are or the water temperature here, but what's the water temperature here, first off? Yeah, two degrees Celsius. Cold. It's not warm, two point something. And vents can get up to 400 degrees Celsius. Yeah, the hottest yeah. I've seen, I think, is 360 or 350 or something. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's a crazy difference. Yeah, we had a vent that was around 300 degrees at Magic Mountain in an area that was supposed to be extinct. That's cool. What's boiling for Celsius? 100. 100. But because of the pressure this deep, that's why the water at vents doesn't boil. Oh. Ever try to cook anything at altitude? <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't really work because uh, water boils at, I don't know, 80 Celsius, 90? I don't know the number, but something lower than 100. So stuff cooks very differently when you live it for yeah. your, uh, at altitude. It's like backpacking food has different instructions for like when you cook it on top of a mountain. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So do cake mixes. Exactly. Baking's crazy hard at altitude. So yeah. the, the opposite is true at depth is the... Uh, the boiling point goes up. Well, it's kind of a different phenomenon, but yeah, for all intents and purposes, the boiling point is a lot higher. Yeah. Check There's out all these sponges from the Atalanta cam. Yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Like zombies when we get on us. <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> As someone who lives uh, in a very not not high altitude area and thinks in Fahrenheit, um, yeah, I don't think about different boiling points too often. Oh, uh, yeah. we have an Eteroptychus here. The pink squiggly? Yep. Yeah, 10,000 feet, and I think water boils at 195. Uh, I, I don't remember. Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Zoom in, please. Ooh. Is there a squat on there? This is a, a squat that is uh, specifically associated with bamboos, with mon uh, monobranched, uh, uh, unibranched uh, uh, bamboos. Sorry. <laughs> you can spot oh, those squats from like miles away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the so best one there. Yes. Okay. Wow. This one's a little colorful. Right, thank you. Thank you.
We saw none of these polyopagon sponges on our last dives, and mm -hmm. here they're everywhere. Yeah. We have their uh, precious coral. What are, what are those like chaotically branching corals? <laughs> Like the one over here? Yeah. Chaotically branching, I like that. That's a good way to describe it. As a non-scientist, that's what I have to describe things as. Can you zoom in on the chaos, please? <laughs> <laughs> Does it have some of those yeah, zoanthids? Yeah. I'm learning. Bamboo? Got nodes? Yeah, right? Nodes? Nodes? I can't tell. Nodeless. 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 Nodeless live. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that deserves a point. <laughs> yeah, that was a great lobster. Watch Is there a lobster, lobster in there? Oh, yeah, the squatty. The very bottom. Somewhere at the very bottom. Squat log. I can never get back yes. there. Until it's getting into the shift, I'm all sloppy now. Oh, is that yeah. it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, what is it? There's no way to know. No one see. Oh, That's too fast. bumpy. Too bumpy. Oh, the next shift is moving in. Yep. Just That's as things got alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for me and vent folks. Fa Whoa. Tune in. That's all for me and vent facts, <laughs> folks. <laughs> Tune in next time. <laughs> Tune in in what? 12 hours? 8 hours? <laughs> 8 hours. All right, folks. Bye bye. Hey, Dave. Can you please zoom super double extra wide?
Just wanted to say hello to all our listeners. We're going through a quick watch change and we'll give you an update in just a minute. Just a couple more minutes while we get settled in. Hello and good evening, everyone. Can I hear everyone hear me? Mike, check, check. <laughs> DJ we can Mike, hear you loud in. and clear. DJ Mike. Can you hear video? <laughs> can you hear video? <laughs> I can hear video. Okay. Thank you, video. Thank you. Good evening, Panos. All right, everybody. Hi, this is Ashley Glickley, Science Communication Fellow, Teacher, and Stargazer this evening. We are here at an unexplored seamount, isolated seamount, at the southwestern limit of the Johnston Atoll Exclusive Economic Zone. Um, this area has been visually ex has never been visually ex explored before, but has been previously mapped by the EV Nautilus during our expedition NA-140. All right, cool, cool, cool. And give it just another minute or two so everybody can do their introductions. Still getting settled in on our 12 to 4 watch. Oh, I almost forgot. So that's midnight most, to 4 a.m. Most important part of this whole endeavor. Looks like we're coming in on a really exciting part, too. Front row, how are you all feeling? Do you feel like you can introduce yourself? I'm feeling sure. kind of queasy. A little queasy? Mike looks busy, <laughs> so I guess I'll, I'll go. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Everybody, my name is James. Blah 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 blah. You can um, do it. I, yeah, yeah, I can speak. <laughs> uh, I am the Herc pilot for the 12 to 4 shift. I'm the lucky one who gets to play with the robot. And we're in an exciting place to be able to explore with that robot. Yes, tonight. I'm also a stargazer today, but I didn't see any shooting stars. So I was a little yeah. upset. I didn't give it very long though. Oh well, technically, <laughs> <laughs> they're not stars. <laughs> okay, if I had a hand free, I might slap you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Keep all hands on the robot. All hands on the robot, that's right. Michael, you getting settled in or are you good? I am. All right, you want to say hello to everybody? Hello, everybody. <laughs> I am Michael Vai. I am uh, the Atalanta pilot for the 12 to 4 watch this morning slash evening slash um, time. What space. day is it? <laughs> it is currently, uh, it is Monday morning, Hawaii time. Uh, yeah, I'm a PhD graduate student. I'm a PhD student at uh, U University of California, Los Angeles. Uh, and uh, yeah, like I said, I'm at Atlanta and I'm going to be helping out Herc in all the co-pilot duties. All right. Thank you, pilot and co-pilot. Navigator, you want to introduce yourself? Hey, everybody. I am Lynette, the navigator. Um, what do I do? I tell the ship where to go so that we can explore the areas we want to explore. Definitely an important job, right? We don't want to get disconnected from the ship. Yeah, <laughs> the spotter. That would be bad. All right. Panos, do you want to say good, good morning, good evening? Good morning, everybody. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> so... <laughs> My name is Panos. Uh, I'm the video engineer for this uh, 12 to 4 watch, and I will help uh, with uh, zoom in, zoom out, and focus with the camera. Awesome. Thank you. Also, a very important job. Yes. Speaking of zoom, you can do that whenever you like. There we sure. go. Our first zoom of the night. Yes. I just chose this randomly. I don't know. Doom. 
All right, before she gets started talking about coral, I'm going to let our scientist to my right introduce herself. Hi, everyone. He's Haisa Hogan. I am oceanographer, and I'm part of the member network of Ocean Census. And um, yeah, in the shift 12 to, to 4. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you can wipe uh, I'm going to speak uh, in Portuguese now for the everybody that speaks Portuguese if they are tuning. Olá, salve, salve, todo mundo que fala português. Uh, aqui é a Raíssa Hogan, eu sou sonóloga, sou parte do, do time científico da, dessa expedição. E é um prazer ter vocês aqui com a gente. Então, se vocês tiverem alguma pergunta e quiserem fazer em português, por favor, é, tune no, no website, that's Nautilus... Uh, NautilusLive.org. Yeah. So, that's it. Obrigada. Awesome. Thank you. Well, I'm not here. I can't follow that up. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, my name is Leela. Uh, I, was I next? I yeah, yeah, okay. no, you're perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Leela Bellucci. I am sitting in the watch lead seat on this watch, splitting that with Dwight, the expedition leader. Um, and I'm also the science manager on this expedition. Thank you. And one more introduction. I guess that's me. Good morning. Uh, this is Jane Carrick. I'm a researcher at University of Rhode Island, and I am data logging for um, our watches from 12 to 4. So taking notes on all of the cool diversity, biodiversity, and abiotic diversity, I guess we could say, about the rocks. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, we got a cucumber. Yeah, I see that purple cucumber. I guess I'll log that. Well, thank you, Jane. All right, and we are, we're leaving off right at a very crucial point here, so we're gonna switch right on into the science. We see a purple cucumber and some beautiful sponges. Yeah. Where are we with, uh, with ship move right now? I was just about to ask how much we have left. Uh, 248 meters. Okay. They like them big <laughs> that's moves. Not a lot, that's not a lot. <laughs> we'll get there in no time. That is the entire watch. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you? In four hours. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you? Um, so we are on the move currently. We are on okay. The move. Point two knots. We're moving right along. Um, yeah, we can we can move along with Herc a little yeah, further up on our way. I am leading up. Gosh, so much good stuff. Amazing. Um, so Look what at do all we? Sponges. What have we collected so far? For um, can I just take a look at the sample sheet quick? Yes, you may. Thank you. Oh no, eDNA yet? We can we can go ahead and pop one of those uh, anywhere around here. Well, you would have to hover, right? Yes, a hover and uh, go further ahead before you do that. Yeah, maybe we'll get get into the Atlanta view. So you're not like underneath me. So many polyopagon sponges. Yeah, These are awesome, huge. Poly yeah, these are quite large. Polyoptagon. Polyopagon. Opagon. Yeah. What's an opa? All O's. Polyopagon. How far has it gone? <laughs> uh, apparently, it hasn't gone to this location because they're all there. Right Can we here. take a look at, at that real quick? Sorry, before we. Uh, wow, well, so many demands. Bark bark over three minutes. Is that a, is that a s no, reverse? Not a shrimp. Sorry. Uh, it might just be the base of a coral. Actually, yeah. maybe I was just getting ahead of myself. It is the base of a. Got excited. I'm sorry. Okay, never mind. Sorry, <laughs> everybody. Right there, is it? No. Uh, it, it, it's probably just a coral base. I thought it was a sea star, but it was not. Then there are these tiny sponges to be appreciated. Aww. We don't need to zoom on them, but they're very cute. We do appreciate. Does it look you. like there's like mat on the on these rocks? I think it's just sediment that's trapped in in the little bumps and ridges. In because like from from Herc's view, yes, it looks like that, but from well, let's give a zoom. We could yeah, zoom we right zoom. there, and it we'll get to the bottom of this mat. In the other camera, sand. let's go ahead, Panos. Kind of 
and we'll and look like at the sponge as well. We're at it. Out of focus, so I guess it doesn't matter. These look like tiny Bolosoma sponges, maybe? B-O-L-O-S-O-M-A. Are these like the mushroom sponges we were talking about the other night? Mushroom sponges. Were mushroom we talking about mushroom sponges? sponges? I thought we saw some mushroom. Looking. Mushroom corals? Mushroom nope. Huh. I thought they were just sponges that look like mushrooms, but not so small. They were a lot bigger than this. Um, you'll have to point it out, and then I'll, I'll say what I know them as. I don't think I've, I've heard of a mushroom sponge as the name, but I could be totally wrong. Oh, no. I, would, I just said it. Oh, because like they look like <laughs> ones? Yeah, yeah there definitely are. There's the ball no scientific look kind of like mushrooms. So do the colophagus. A lot of black mm. corals here. Okay, so yeah, whenever you're ready, get ahead and we'll take that niskin. Um, Jane, things yes. we're seeing besides the polyopagon, a lot of black coral, mm -hmm. including bathopathies, uh, primnoids. We're going too fast for me to try and guess what kind. Um, wow, a lot of bathopathies here. Guess Sponges that. besides tree to, besides polyopagon, we're seeing that's like ferraid sponge on the right, the roughly one. We've got a hyalinema. I can spell that for you. Here. Yes, please. H-Y-A-L, hyal-o-n-a-m-e. Wait. Nema, whatever. Hi, L O, and then Nema, Nema. <laughs> N E M A, <clears throat> and some chrysogorgids okay. as well. Bamboo coral as well, or I'm I side? haven't. I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. Like that's the bamboo there. So yes, bamboo as well. This is very diverse. So all of that can also go in the eDNA. You might as well even copy and paste that into our eDNA description whenever we take that. Okay. This <coughs> is a better spot. Okay. Um. If we could keep the altitude, I know we don't want to land on top of anything, but around like under three meters, like two-ish meters, that would be great. I know we're also on a slope and it's at the back, so no, this, this is, is actually a pretty great. flat spot. Is uh, it? This is a good spot to do this. Okay, sure. Mike, so. you ready? Oh, yeah, I could do this on the fly. Yeah, <coughs> we're okay here. It's happy, so you do your thing. Just gonna look at. All right. Gonna need you to rack in a little at the very least. Oh yes, sir. And then uh, let me know when I'm good to go. Was this? Did you just log that separately, or was that a? S oh. Have we done any this? No, it should have been. I'm sorry. It should have been sample and situ, because I wanted to do. Oh, this one is. Oh, I'm in the. Situ. I'm in the process of. Oh, maybe a sample it's now. showing. That's weird. Oh, I guess it made the log already mm. because, okay, yeah, sure. And sorry, I have your... Can you go to your tool. thing? Sorry? What would you like? Can you go to yours? You go. Thank you. Like yeah. your, like uh, the, the screen right here? Your craft. Oh, stuff. sorry, yeah. So the craft and altitude is, that is going to be 2.3 yeah. two meters. Right. Okay. You can also mention... Okay, so the light's not on. I was see, just we like, have, you don't I have the root bath, the pathies, primnoids. No, it should be ready. I just, bamboo, I was moving it, and then I saw that it was already on. So we have also a red gorgia and other things. Uh, two eyes. This. And then, and they're Whenever not called ready, I'll follow you, over. you can take out acidity. You already Got said it. bamboo, so that's okay. Oh, I thought and I they're also called keratoicids now. That's good. I'm going to wait for the altitude for when they actually, yeah. That's okay. That's like a guesstimate now. It's fine. All right, here we go. Um, and then just pictures of them popping the bottle. And yes, you should take that on your control screen. So you should do them on right triclops whenever you want to be taking the picture. And then if you want to have something else up there, you can, but it, you'll only have control of this. Oh, I just realized I don't have control. And this is doing that thing again where it doesn't look like it wants to take pictures. Is it? So do you start with number six? Here? Yeah. Whichever one. I don't know if it However you want, particularly as long matters, as but you'll probably in order. None have top. been taken yet, so they're all free and clear. Okay. Maybe don't start in the middle, though. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Just for us with OCD. You're starting with one? He's going to start with four. 
If you start with one, I will be so grateful, but do whatever makes sense to you. <laughs> Other, uh, yeah, there you go, bud. All right, take it away, Heist. I think it's working. So whenever it's yellow, it's ready to take another one. Okay, keep an eye out, see if you can see it. Once I get it. Come on. Shrimp. Oh yeah, nice. Our shrimp count is Well out. done, Mike. Did I get it? Did you see it? Oh, you, you're pulling it like that. Keep going. Right there, stop. I, I can't tell. I can't tell either. I hate this. I hate number know. six for this reason. Oh, you could have said, you just spoke it up. But I feel like you pulled it pretty good. And you maybe that white reflective amount. on the, at the end, that might be it popped. Let's just hope. Yeah, let's hope. Are the lights on? Oh, there's a colophagus sponge in the back there. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to put that down that we need to change that. Uh, the angle of the camera is the, the, Yeah, that way we could see. Yeah, the light. front one, though, you see it is still just Two, barely in frame, three. number one. Yeah. You want to you follow me back before we hit that uh, thing? All right. You didn't want to start get going. Yeah, Do you know what number yeah, is that? Line, line goes. That is 052. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Do we have good pictures of the general assemblage from before this? I took some to the page, as yeah. in situ photos as well of okay. the sponges yes. in the background. Oh, Great. sorry, I didn't. Uh, I'll take some more if we when we pan out too. Sure, sounds good. That's right. Does that look right? Does that look right? Um, just uh, um, yeah. There you go. There you go. I was like, why does this look weird? I was say, I was trying to figure. I can't I remember which one's pitch and which one's yaw. Always confusing me. All right, I got it. All Yay, right. my first one can. Okay. Yay, successful one. Go, Michael. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, it's better with the fingers like that, right? Yeah. You don't have to grab it. Yeah. Yeah. Live and let die. That's one thing that doesn't work with parallel jaws. That'd be really cool if you could do like a honk thing with the uh, meniscus. Like Would it, um, James, be possible to lift a little higher briefly and and take a just a good look at what's below. Yes, yeah. Just take a kind of like, this is where we took that sample photo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We got a couple of these sponges in view. Yeah. And the coral. That's good. Sweet. All right. Feel free to get ahead wherever you need. Actually, this is good. OK, sweet. Um, no, gosh, good. there's so much to so I'm gonna go zoom ahead. on. I'm going to secure uh, the craft valve. Uh, can you give me two seconds before we zoom? I just want yes, to get a better. Sure, I'm gonna you know, at least get us back into view of Atalanta, and then we'll. Yep. 